Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Sneaky. Welcome back to another video guys. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can make this thumbnail right here. And it's actually pretty simple if you just follow along with me. If at any point in this video you find this is just too hard for you, or maybe you just don't have Photoshop, you can actually DM me on Twitter and pay like $10 to $15 depending on what you're getting, thumbnail, banner, or logo, and I will make it for you for that price. So. To get started, you're going to have to find a couple images, um, just two actually. So let's go ahead and hop on to Google. I was watching a video earlier. Um, I'm just going to search Apex Legends. You can pick any game that you want, really. Go to my images. And I found this really good image earlier of the Havoc from that game right here. And right now, the dimensions are kind of low. That's not high enough resolution for our thumbnail. So we're going to bring this over here. We're going to drag the image and then you click all sizes. And then usually the first one is like the proper size. You can see here that it's a lot bigger and a lot more HD resolution. So I'm going to right click and copy that image. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search arrow. And sometimes to narrow the search, you can put arrow PNG. And I really like this one. Um, so for images with a transparent background, you do have to right click and save the image as I'm going to go ahead and save it here and then we'll have it up here in our downloads. So I'm going to minimize this slightly. We're going to go into Photoshop and when you first open it, it's not going to look like this. So you just click the create new button, I think is what it says. And then you click the dimensions. I'll show you the dimensions right now. So I'm going to click new and the dimensions for a YouTube thumbnail. Usually the best one is 1280 by 720 with a resolution of 300. Um, I do like my color mode on uh, RGB, which is the best for like web documents and thumbnails and stuff, but you can use CMYK, whatever you like. 8-bit is usually fine, transparent, background, I like using that. And then we just click create, and you'll have a blank canvas just like so. And since we copied that image from Google earlier, we can just press Control v and there you go. We have a image of the game, and to get started, I am going to... Make sure this layer is selected, go up to select and select and mask. And the settings I have on here is I have the overlay V and then I have the color to green. So that way it's really easy to understand like what is selected and what isn't. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to paint over the Havoc rifle. And sometimes you might get a little bits that are outside. That's completely fine. You just go up here to the top left. That's the minus and you just go on these areas that you accidentally got onto. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because whenever you look at a YouTube thumbnail, it's gonna be like this big, even smaller on some devices. So you really don't have to have, you know, perfect precision and then a lot of detail. So I like this, but as you've seen in the regular image, if we go ahead and duplicate this layer and hold on. So if we just drag this up here, this is a layer mask um, and basically whatever is white is what the image shows. Whenever it's black, it doesn't show. Um, but since I have it on here, which is a blank layer, it's not going to show at all. It's not going to hide or show anything. But on this image, we do have this like effect right here and I really like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this layer down here. And if you were confused on how I got this layer mask off of here, you just you just let me delete this layer you just click a new layer right here with this plus button and then you just drag that layer mask on top of there just as a placeholder for now then we can click this layer one right here and Control j will duplicate it and then we just put this on top right here and you might not notice anything but if you took but if you turn the eye off on the bottom layer then it's transparent so that's working perfectly so now i want to go down here and i want to go to filter blur Gaussian blur just enough to separate the gun from the background and then I'm gonna make another layer in between these two get my paintbrush and I'm gonna go in with a white color and put it here and then now I'm just gonna double click on layer three go to outer glow and give it kind of a blue light blue color make sure it's on no normal and just like that around 69 it's a funny number and then yeah, you have the glow effect there. And what I like to do really quickly is control U on the bottom layer, turn the saturation up just a little bit. Saturation just makes, you know, it pop out a lot more. And I'm gonna also 
go here. So we have this layer over here from earlier. I'm going to hold control while pressing the layer mask right here. I'm going to go over here to the fill bucket. And if it isn't selected, you can hold and then select paint bucket because it might look like this for you. It's okay. You just hold your mouse button and click paint bucket. And I like using purple as like kind of a selection color. So we're going, we're going to go ahead and fill inside of that selection that we just made. And I'm going to go here, double click on this layer, give it a stroke of white and about six pixels, press OK. And then you want to right click and rasterize the layer style. OK, so from here, you want to get your magic wand tool. And when it's not selected, it might be the quick selection tool. Just again, hold the mouse button and go down to magic wand tool. Then from here, you want to click the purple right here. And if you look closely, you can see there's still some purple that's not selected. So what I like to do is I like to go to select and then modify and expand by one pixel. And if that's not enough, then I'll just do it one more time. Just like that and press my backspace button. And then there we go. Your gun now has an outline. And to make it more noticeable, we're going to double click this layer right here with the layer mask and click an outer glow and change the color to black. And then it's kind of like a drop shadow all the way around. A quick tip is to scroll out every now and then so that way you know what it's going to look like if it's smaller because it will be a lot smaller on the thumbnail itself. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the gun. And as you can see right here, there are some spots that are a little goofy, but again, no one's going to notice that when it's zoomed out. So you do really don't have to worry about slight imperfections like that. Okay, now it's on to the text. And what I like to do with text is have the main center text. I'll go ahead and show you right here. I really want to like over exaggerate the fact that this gun is pretty good. So I put insane in blue so that way it pops out a lot more against the more green and red tones in the background so we're gonna go ahead and go here use whatever font you like i really like lemon milk you can go on a website called dafont.com and basically find fonts that you like so d-a-f-o-n-t.com and you can find lemon milk here just by searching just like that you want to download the file double click it and if you don't have like winrar or 7zip to extract this you're gonna have to get one of those programs and that will be from a different video so right here you can see these three different files you just want to double click on all three of these sorry don't double click on the png files double click on these right here there's like a lot i'll just use just one of them so this is the light version and you just click install easy as that exit exit then we're gonna go back to Photoshop right here. And if you scroll a little bit, you should find it, but mine's right here because I just used it. We're gonna go into this text. You can press T or you can go over here and click the text tool. So we're gonna go Havoc. And it doesn't matter what color it is right now because we will be changing it with some layer styles. And to make it bigger, you wanna hold Shift and click right here at this corner piece. And yeah, click the check mark up here. And we're going to double click on this layer and we're going to go to gradient overlay and now i like to go into the basics one and go here and just lower the saturation a lot so i guess i lied the color of the text at the initial start does matter just make it white that's my bad double click this layer again and go over to gradient overlay change the gradient to basics right here and just just lower the opacity to like right here it's barely noticeable but it's just enough to add a little bit of contrast so now we're going to go to inner glow and um, the settings i have here are color dodge 10 white color choke at 18 and size at 9. this is going to vary the choke and size are going to vary depending on how big your text is so just remember that and as you can see by zooming in a little bit right here you can see that there is a slight you know inner glow like to the gradient of the text so now we're going to double click that layer again if you aren't already in the layer styles thing click on stroke and this is how i get a really cool text effect so we're going to go here and change it to almost black but not quite because we're going to go in with black later we're going to right click this layer rasterize layer style Control j to duplicate and on here, you don't want to go into layer styles, my bad. You want to press Ctrl U and bring the lightness all the way down and use your arrow key, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just put it below the other text. And then that way it's kind of like a 3D effect and it's kind of cool and it pops off your screen really well. So you want to select both of these, 
you want to select the bottom layer, the bottom Havoc layer, or the bottom text layer, hold shift and select the top one, right click, merge the layers. And then you want to double click it again, go in with the stroke of white, and this is kind of like a sticker effect, and you just basically want to do the same thing. So rasterize rare style, control J, control U, and for this, you're going to have to do this twice. So you go to lightness up, and then control U one more time, and do it like negative 40, there we go, okay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the arrow keys, drag it below. And there you go, it's kind of like a, a sticker effect and I really like that. And it really pops out because it has that darker outline as well. And then we can go in and shift these two layers, merge them, double click one last time on this layer and go to outer glow. Maybe not that intense, bring it a little bit down on the opacity and there we go. We're gonna, slightly rotated so if you don't know how to do that you just want to go to this tool right here and if you don't have the outline right here click this button up here the check mark show transform controls it'll appear for you okay so now we have the is insane part right so we're going to go ahead and go in here we're going to create a new text layer so click the text tool and type right here and just type is insane or whatever text you need and for two words, instead of going in and, you know, having to manipulate this and this separately, what I like to do is change it to the, the rotation and the size that I need it. So about here, bring it here, rotation that way, click check mark, and then I'm going to press control J and then I'm going to go in here and just highlight insane plus this little space right here in backspace. So basically what you just did is the is is its own layer. So if I go ahead and move this, it's its own layer, but it's also here. And you want that also there for a reason, and I'll show you that in just a minute. We're gonna go into is insane, double click that, go into gradient overlay. And then this one, we have to turn the opacity all the way up, go to the gradient and then go to blues or whatever color you're using. And I'm gonna go with this blue, it's very nice do an inner glow again your settings should be the same and then we're going to do a stroke of dark gray just like that and with secondary text i don't like to make it as a replica of the other text so i'm just going to leave it at this with this dark outline and put a outer glow on it just there you go and it does pop pretty nicely and then the last thing we're going to do is bring that arrow in so I downloaded it earlier. I'm gonna drag this in here. Click OK. That's my bad. Let me. <laughs> there we go. Got a Discord notification right there. Okay, so we have this right here. We're gonna go ahead and press Control T to transform. Rotate it slightly. Hold Shift at this corner. Bring it down, and make sure it's pointing at the Havoc rifle or whatever you want it to point at. Okay, and then we're gonna right click and rasterize this layer just so it's easier to work with. We're gonna double click. And we are basically just going to go and an easier way to do this is just to right click on the secondary text or for my case, the is insane part. We're going to right click and go to copy layer style, then go up to the arrow, right click it and go to paste layer style. And it will basically just look exactly the same. And then there you go. That's your thumbnail, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these types of videos, I will make more. This is actually pretty, pretty fun for me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah.